Hi, it's Tristan. I'm going to show you how to use the black mask in Photoshop. It sounds daunting, but I promise you it's not. It's going to be super simple and it's going to make your workflow very flexible. So I'm going to run our action. Most of our actions do have masks attached to them um, because like you said, it makes your workflow super simple. So here we have um, the action run. It has the black mask. To select it, you're just going to make sure you click on the black, this little black square box. You'll know it's selected when you see these white brackets around surrounding it. For a black mask, you always want to choose a white brush to reveal the effect. So we're going to come here and make sure our default color is white. And then we'll choose our brush and just come over to the photograph and start painting where you want to have the effect show through. Our, most of our actions are adjustable, so if that effect is too strong, you can just go up here to the slider and move it down to the left, and the effect will be lessened. So I went from here to here. If I don't like this effect, I have a couple choices. I can delete this layer, or I can come back here and hit the black Oops. and then just paint over and it'll remove the effect from the image. So it's so almost like an eraser or a do-over. It's awesome. I do like this effect so I'm going to control Z so you can see from here to here. And that's it. That's how to use the black mask.